two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. down gets three up to the 28 here's second and seven now from the 28 it's a pickup of three brings up second and seven He's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. A gain of three, second down. Brings up second and seven. shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Eckler. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. And it's complete. Henry. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Herbert's throw going to be caught by Henry. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on. 
and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Herbert operating from the red zone. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Herbert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to seven. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpointing here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. That's going to go down as a loss of nine on the first down play. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Herbert back to the air. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To the air again, Herbert. And he's in for the Charger touchdown. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. next drive the Washington offense they had the interception last time it led to the opening touchdown so now seven nothing to score as they start first and ten and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24 he'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 now they try the right side here and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line it's a pickup of 17 and a first down. It's a gain of seven. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
Ten more there and another first down. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he was... coming out he's probably on the next tier but let me tell you something if he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best we'll see more of that in the future so it's from charger territory now here's a first and 10 at the 48 yard line and he'll give it here to his running back and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. Yeah, he gets them a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. down a goal. Wentz. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Trey Burton. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's up and good and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So we'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Woo! Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Chargers take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Throwing quickly, and Herbert completes it. So they decline it, and they choose to not give them that down back. And I think that's the key to everything there. They didn't give up any yardage, even on the completed pass. Don't give them an extra down in order to try and pick up a first. <laughs> Here's Herbert down on second down. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. 
in Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. On first down, it's Herbert. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down here inside the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, LA. Donald Perro, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Good start to the season for Emmy and the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. the 31 now on first and 10 from the shotgun here's Herbert he'll take a shot for the end zone 
And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he'll go down at the 28. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Well, a good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Out of the gun, Herbert. Strong coverage by Washington. And then fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. At their own 25-yard line. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held him to three, but this offense... Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pike. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And this carries into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. And he goes backwards here. Losing yardage back to the 16. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Play action. Now wins. And looking for Get the fuck out of here, bro. It's Chris this is Harris. Here, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. After the turnover, here's Herbert, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Kalen Balage out of the backfield, but it'll be second down. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete.
They'll throw again from their own end zone. He'll get this to Eckler. And oh, that is going to be a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told them, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards that time and a Washington first. It's a gain of 17 yards. And the Washington first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now wins. Now he's flushed out left. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Inside four minutes to go. Third quarter. Into the red zone. Wins. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And Washington has retaken the lead. Washington. So up comes Wentz as he and the guys on offense here will go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. Well, they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. 
to throw again. Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. First at the 24-yard line. The play fake to Eckler. It's Herbert escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete here. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Throwing again. Herbert. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Second catch for him today. And he'll wind up a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Second and goal at the 10-yard line. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Operating from the gun, Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The keeper, incomplete, out of the end zone. Now fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Badgley able to knock this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. They're on 25-yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Oh, he trucked him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards the pickup, first down Washington. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Softer three quarters, no reason to lighten up. And now look at him go! Watson! Touchdown, Washington! A big play there! His second touchdown of the afternoon, and Washington has taken the lead. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. Hopkins with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. <laughs> The Charger drive about to get going. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Not much there, only a yard. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he's got his man on the out route. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. Herbert throwing again. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run, it's a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Again, Herbert. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Desmond Trufant with a sack. The corner blitz hits home. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. From the gun, Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And it's complete. Henry, the 20. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Well, first, we had him. 
defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal at the three-yard line. On second and goal, here's the option. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four-down territory. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And did he get in? Yes, they say it's a touchdown. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And his kick is right through. Come on, man. We didn't come all the way to L.A. to lose, baby. We didn't come here to lose, baby. Far. 27 apiece is our score as the kicks away. You can come here and lose, baby. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. 11 yards there. First down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to go to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, Parker. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Uh, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he'll go down at the 28. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. Come on, bring it, baby. Bring it. And he'll be out of bounds. Another carry for the running back. <laughs> and that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Oh. 
A little unconventional, but another kneel down here as they work towards a field goal try. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And there will be all smiles in Georgetown tonight as Washington has won it. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends yeah. on the kickoff. I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for Washington, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.